Okay, lady. Time for the world to see what you really are. Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. Everywhere. That's a setback. Hey Pete, saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Thought you would follow them. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Jumps. Give me something bigger. Okay, okay, that's bigger.
Fetch your lifesaver. Hey, Fetch! This would be a good time for some backup! Ask and ye shall receive! Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. Easy on the trash talk, Eugene! Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places! Easy on the trash talk, Eugene! Yo, D, come here. You gotta come see this. Another launch pad for ya! Oh, smartest move I've seen all day. Loving this conduit thing. Looks like the whole roof's armor plated. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, or I shall protect you. How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, D. Don't like being rushed. Almost there. Got it. All yours, Steve. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back. Oh, good. You're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe. Testing you. While you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? Well, I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero. Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. Could you just hunt them down and lock them up? Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. You just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military? If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm going to expose you. And your deception. And then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. 
And I won't let you stop me. You want my power? Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. <clears throat> you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who is the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. Oh, Eugene! Give some help! I can't do anything! I need a-
last core! Oh. Okay, Delson. I'll see what I can find. Just hang on!
Yeah. I'm told that hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. And the entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K, they were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. Betty. Nelson. You're here. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. A promise is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. You're my first stop. You saved me, Delson Rowe. Hey, we're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie saved me. I love you, brother. I'm sure gonna miss you.